take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Even though the winter solstice is the shortest day of the year, the change begins slowly after today. In Dayton, the amount of daylight received on December 21st is 9 hours 21 minutes and 11 seconds. In just a month, our length of day increases by almost 30 minutes, picking up 9 hours 49 minutes and 57 seconds. Let's help you make your mark. During the months of September and October we are constantly losing roughly 2 minutes per day as we near the autumnal equinox which we receive equal amount of daylight and darkness. You might ask yourself, how does daylight saving time play a role into this? Take our lead. When is the longest day of the year? In the Northern Hemisphere, the summer solstice, or longest day of the year, takes place between June 20th and 22 each year. This year it falls on Saturday June 20th, when the UK will enjoy 16 hours and 38 minutes of daylight. The sun will rise at 4.43 am and set at 9.21 pm. Make your mark, take our lead. And for the week or so after that, it will continue increasing at the slightly slower pace of about 2 minutes and 7 seconds per day. In fact, this time period around the vernal or spring equinox, and actually peaking at the equinox, is the time of year when the number of daylight hours is growing the fastest. Take our lead. When the sun seems to stand still at that moment, its zenith does not move north or south as during most other days of the year, but it stands still at the Tropic of Cancer. It then reverses its direction and starts moving south again. Take our lead. Once the summer solstice happens, the days will begin getting shorter. It starts with mere seconds and minutes, eventually leading up to the winter solstice and the shortest day of the year on December 21st. Make your mark, take our lead. On the 21st of December, the Northern Hemisphere will sink into its deepest point of darkness. Have no fear, it is only the longest night and the shortest day of the year. Today, those of us in the North will be basking in roughly 8 hours of daylight. Make your mark, take our lead. After the June solstice, the sun follows a lower and lower path through the sky each day in the northern hemisphere until it reaches the point where the length of daylight is about 12 hours and 8 to 9 minutes in areas that are about 30 degrees north or south of the equator. Take our lead. Starting this week, Daylight increases at the rate of 3 minutes per day in Minnesota. Check out the Twin Cities solar data from timeanddate.com. We've already gained almost 2 hours of daylight since the December solstice. We gain about another 90 minutes in the next month. Let's help you make your mark. On December 21st, the shortest day of the year, the day length ranges from almost 11 hours in Hawaii to 0 hours in northern Alaska. This diagram shows the Earth's position relative to the Sun on the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.